Alright, moving on to my next container. I have your Firefly Mimic, or your Schulteze uh, Lampiridiformis. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Um, they are your South American Firefly Mimic Cockroach. Uh, they're really small, very pretty little roach. Um, let's see them in there. Um, I keep them in a pretty sealed container. The nymphs definitely can climb really well, um, and they can climb out of the enclosure with no problem whatsoever. So, this is an adult right here. Very pretty roach, uh, definitely resembles the firefly beetle. And, you know, they're, they're actually one of my favorites. They're, they're tiny, um, so they, you know, sometimes they're really delicate, they're really hard to take care of sometimes, but um, you can see this one's actually, yeah, even, I think a little funny, but, you know, I, I know they can fly, but I've never seen them do it, and they, in general, are, they just want to crawl around like this, uh, they're not super fast moving, obviously, they're, you know, not moving too, too fast in here, but they breed, you know, in small little litter, you know, tiny litters, uh, 10, 15 or so. You can see there's a couple of nymphs running around in there with the adults. Um, I keep them with um, some of the uh, cork bark, and that's, again, just to kind of uh, keep the uh, moisture in, substrate, and all that. Uh, they eat hardly, like, almost nothing. I put this in two weeks ago, and they barely touched it. Um, I'll put maybe one or two pieces of uh, dog food in once in a while, and they'll maybe, maybe touch it. But overall, they eat very, very little. Their nymphs are super tiny. Um, I don't know if you saw the very tiny nymphs that are running around in here. But they uh, they can climb over a Vaseline barrier very easily. But unfortunately, they also get stuck on that Vaseline barrier. So I'm probably going to clear this tank. And I'm probably going to switch it over to a uh, tape, like a clear packing tape around the top of that to keep them from climbing over it. Because I, I hate to see these little guys getting stuck and dying uh, in the Vaseline. As you can see, I mean, they're they're tiny. He's got a real little one running around there. But they're they're one of my favorite roaches. These guys are just really cool to look at, and they're pretty active. They most of them stay the adults anyway. Stay on top of the substrate. Um, they do like it a little damp, but they also want dry spots. Like this is a relatively dry container. And they like to sit in there, but they also like to stay in this. You know kind of damp cocoa fiber or moss substrate mixture and mostly the nymphs stay in that and then the adults go into this drier place and they like to sit under this uh, cork bark too. They're just a really neat small roach but again they can be a little tricky to take care of sometimes but mine have done pretty well for me and that's because they keep them relatively moist. Um, I feed them when they need it and not overfeed them so there's not a lot of mold grown in the container and I keep them kind of crowded and for me, that's worked really well. So if you guys have any questions about these, uh, let me know. I'll answer what I can. Um, they're a really cool species to get. Uh, they're, you know, just tiny and active. And you can't ask for anything better than that. I mean, if you want a German roach, they're about the same size, but uh, I wouldn't suggest keeping them in your house. But these guys are a nice alternative to that if you want small active roaches. All right, see you guys in a few.